Hi, this is Tommy Gibbs with Up Your Gross. I want to show you how a mobile phone app works. You can use it obviously on a tablet or a phone app. Uh, you can um, download the app from your Android or Apple Store. It's really easy to use. I've got it on my iPhone here just to the left there, uh, kind of the third row up. It's a kind of a green looking icon. When I click on it, it's going to take me right into my inventory. And these are the units need action. So if you've been using the desktop, you'll be familiar with the action tab. These are fresh units that just came in. This app is great to use during the course of the trade walk. And it's also great to use as you're moving cars through your recon operation. So if we're on the trade walk, I can pull my phone app up and don't have to go to the desktop. And this is what you would see. So if I scroll down a little bit, I've got a 2000 Nissan down here at the very, very bottom. I'm going to click on that one. And it tells me basically everything I need to know about the car. It shows my cost and my price right now. But when I actually click on it, it pulls all the data up on that car that I would typically see inside of V Auto, my V rank, price rank, all those sort of thing, day supply, the mileage, and that sort of thing. But I'm going to set this car in the inventory. And as I scroll down, I want to be able to tell us where this car came from. So this car came from an auction. And so we want to track sources so we can see how we're doing on auction purchases and trades and that sort of thing. Uh, which auction site did it come through, which we want to be able to track. Uh, the buyer, the buyer in this case will say it was Mickey Mouse. Uh, the status on this car is it's going to be a retail piece. And um, because this is a car that I'm concerned about, we bought it at the auction. I'm going to shorten the life cycle on it uh, to, let's say, 45 days. So I'm going to shorten the life cycle to 45 days. Uh, issues, you know, I, I'm just going to pretend I overpaid for this car and I'll type that in. Uh, you don't have to put anything here, but I like, um, I like making little notes and you can do that or not. I'm going to send this car into what's called in, into recon stage and it's the car we're going to keep. That simply means the car is sitting out back. Nothing has happened to it yet. And we haven't even given the keys to the service department, but I'm going to click in that on that and send in the recon staging. And we'll do one other thing because I am concerned about this car because I did shorten the life cycle to 45. I'm going to give it early warning radar. That's an icon in a system that alerts you that this car could be problematic. It could be a car that you overpaid for at the auction. It could be a, a car you overpraised. It could be a, um, a car that has um, got too many miles on it. It's not a great color. A whole lot of things that could be on this car that might make it problematic. But if I bought it from an auction, it's definitely problematic. So I shorten the life cycle. So that's why I give it that early warning radar icon. Now, this process of setting the car in the inventory takes about 30 seconds. I'm now going to go ahead and save this. And that car has gone into recon. And we'll go find that car in our recon operation. So I go to the recon tab. And when I click on the recon tab, one of the things you'll notice is um, there's some red lines on the side, some red bars rather, and you'll see kind of some yellow ones and some green ones. Uh, those red bars mean that any car that those red bars are beside, those cars have exceeded the number of days that we intended to get it through the particular stage it's in. So that very first one you see right there is at the, in the service department. Uh, we allocate two days for service. That's kind of how we set it up. You could set up service any way you want to, but it has exceeded those two days. So it's been in the service department way too long, and it's trying to alert us to that. The one below, it's in the body shop and so on. But I'm going to scroll down and find that car that we just, just turned loose, and I believe it's a Subaru here. And so you'll notice it's currently in the service department. Actually, it's not. I believe it's this Nissan right here is the one we're talking about. Yep, that's the one I just sent in was this Nissan, 2017 Nissan. So I'm going to move this car into the service department. We've owned it almost two days total. Hasn't even gotten into service yet, but I'm going to send it into service. I hit those three dots there, and I'm going to move it into service. So I hit that, and now I'm going to put it wherever I want to. So I click on service. So it's now in the service department. When I hit the move button, it's no longer going to be there. It's now, it's now not in recon staging anymore. It has moved into service. At some point, any vehicle is going to go through your entire system. So we're going to pretend that this car up here, um, this first one that we were looking at, I'm going to move it real quick into um, uh, cleanup. I'll hit OK on that car. And so now that car is now in cleanup. And um, if I could find that car again, I don't know which one it was. Let's see here. Uh, it's in cleanup. There's a car in cleanup. I'm going to move this car into the photo booth. And you can see how fast that this can be done. And um, now the car is in the photo booth. I'm now going to move it to accept it for retail. 
Every vehicle has to be accepted for retail or wholesale. Um, it actually takes, to move a car from one stage to another, it takes about 30 seconds. I did one the other day. It was 27 seconds. Um, and on any car I want to, I could add a comment as well. I could go back and say on this car, maybe I want them not to spend any more than $800 on it. If someone is operating off their desktop, this appears instantly, these notes or whatever you're doing will appear instantly on the desktop. And I know that's not the exact car there, but it doesn't really matter. But if we're making notes and we're plugging those in as we go along, and within, your, within the desktop, you can run any type of report you want to. This thing is really easy to use. It's simple. We try to keep it simple. This is a this recon app, uh, this uh, app rather, using it in the recon department is really great for your team back there. They don't have to go to the computer to move a car. We can keep with what's going on. We know where our cars are. We know how long they've been there. I'm Tommy Gibbs. If I can help you with this, please reach out. My email address is Tommy at TommyGibbsTraining.com and my phone number is 850 251 2310. Thanks and have a great day.